This year marks the 20th anniversary of the world's first space station, Skylab, and the 10th anniversary of the first flight of Space Lab, a space research laboratory carried aboard the shuttle. Both programs have been key milestones in the evolution of the nation's space program, and both have produced important scientific research. Skylab, which was launched in 1973, set spaceflight duration records, increased our knowledge of the sun, and produced significant advances in our knowledge of how humans adapt to spaceflight. Skylab and Spacelab astronaut Dr. Owen Garriott. Skylab was indeed our country's very first space station, even though it was 20 years ago. And we learned from that that, yes, indeed, humans can live and work well in space, and that's the direction that humanity should be moving in the future now in Space Lab module for the first time. Get into the Space Lab on the monitor. Space Lab, which has flown a dozen times and is scheduled for many more missions, is used to conduct important research in such areas as life and material sciences, studies of the Earth's environment, and astronomy. These missions have resulted in the publication of hundreds of scientific research papers on a variety of results. The first decade of Space Lab has been, I think, very, very successful. We should feel very good about what we've learned. We ought to be anxious to do more Space Labs, and we ought to be anxious to get into the longer duration flights with Space Station. As NASA is hard at work to develop Space Station freedom, the Space Agency is taking time to commemorate these events. Skylab led to Space Lab, which is leading to Space Station and beyond. These are the topics that will bring people from around the world to an international conference in Huntsville, Alabama. Well, this conference provides a forum for our NASA engineers, scientists, managers, and the crew to get together and look at our experiences from Skylab, Space Lab, use those expertise as we design Space Station. Exploration is not a choice, really. It's an imperative. Those are the words of former astronaut Michael Collins. That sentiment will be felt in Huntsville as people from around the globe converge to discuss the choices that were made decades ago and the ones that face us today and in the decades ahead. In Huntsville, Alabama, this is Mike Arrington reporting. Probably one of the most fascinating space phenomena to watch is the unusual behavior of water and other liquids in the orbital environment. And we can we'll start speeding it up again. Okay, now you can see that it's really necking down in the middle. It's more or less an unstable configuration here of fluids, that is, how they behave under motion, how they oscillate or how they recombine, say, when you put two drops of water together. But they're also interested in... Huntsville Space Lab. 